In this video, I'm going to go through this question, which is from topic 10 to one of our review questions. Okay, so a missile leaves the surface of the Earth with a velocity of 15,000 kilometers per hour. Using the data below, what distance above the surface of the Earth will the missile have lost half its kinetic energy, assuming it all goes into gravitational potential energy? So in other words, there's no um, energy turning into heat or I should say thermal energy. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is take that 15,000 kilometers an hour and turn it into meters per second. And there you go, you can see my conversion. I'm going to leave all of the extra decimal places in my calculator for now and then we'll round them at the end. Okay, next thing. We're talking about it has to lose half of its initial kinetic energy. So first the equation. And now let's put in our data. And that's going to give me the answer of 8.42 times 10 to the power 10. That's a 10, not 16. All right, so that means it has left the surface of the Earth and now has that much or half of that kinetic energy. Let's think about how much potential energy it must have. So let me just write down here E and current is going to be equal to the kinetic energy plus, remember, it did have some on the surface. Okay, so I just made that a little smaller so I have some more room to write. So currently then we are at, remember, negative g m little m over r is our equation for gravitational potential energy. And that's the um, radius we're looking for, plus this value here, which would be, we're told it's half of the original kinetic energy. So I'm writing 4.21 times 10 to the power 10 here, half of this value here. Okay, now we also have the value that we had at the surface of the Earth. So let me put in some values here. Let me just calculate um, and write down the right side first. Okay, so we've got this negative sign because it's gravitational potential. Here is my value of capital G, our universal gravitational constant. I have the mass of the Earth, the mass of the missile, and here is the radius of the Earth. Now notice that I have this times 10 to the 3. Because in order for all of this to work, I need to have meters. But the question actually gave me kilometers. Okay, picking up my calculator, that gives me 6.05 times 10 to the minus 11. Remember, I'm keeping all the extra decimal places in my calculator for now. And if I come on back down here, I've got this negative g m m over r, where we currently are. And on this side now, I'm going to have negative 5.63 times 10 to the power 11. Let's move this around for r. Okay, now when I put that again all into my calculator, I'm going to get 6.87 times 10 to the power 6 meters. And I'm going to put that into kilometers. So 6,847 kilometers. But... That is the radius, so that's the distance from the center of the Earth. And the question actually wants the value of how far from the Earth's surface. So that means I'm going to have to take my 6,847 kilometers and subtract the radius of the Earth. And since that was given in kilometers, that's why I did my conversion already. And I get 476 kilometers. So to recap then, the missile loses one half of its kinetic energy. We've got calculated that here. We had to, in order to calculate this and get my answer in joules, my velocity had to be, or I should say speed, had to be in meters per second because hidden inside a joule is kilograms, meters, and seconds. Once I had that value, when it reaches that spot, that means it has half the original kinetic energy and it has some, um, it also has some energy at the surface. So if I want to find where it is now, 
it says that we've got a change in kinetic energy turned into gravitational potential energy only. This is the conservation of energy we're using. So half of that kinetic energy went into the change in gravitational potential energy. That's where it is now minus the potential energy it had on the surface. So if I'm just looking for the amount of potential energy it has when it's at one half of the original kinetic energy, I'll move this to this side, that's where this equation right here came from. Now I put in all my values in here. We did some calculations, keeping everything in the calculator until I got a radius of 600 sorry, 6,847 kilometers. And we always, in this section, it's really important you check back where does it want it being measured from. In this case, from the surface. So I had to subtract off the surface of the, or the radius of the Earth to see that it's 476 kilometers above the surface. Hope that helps.